my shoe stack, my shoes that I use for running, we're gonna start with my trainers, flats, and then we're gonna finally go to the spikes, and then my secret favorite shoe that helps me run fast. Just to start off, the Nike Structure. Absolutely love this shoe. It's a great trainer. I use it all throughout college. I couldn't use it when I had my contract with Brooks, obviously, because it was a Brooks exclusive contract, but the Nike Structure, it's a stability shoe. Pros about it, very durable, uh, super stable. Cons though, it's very bricky. I don't know if most people would like it. I currently have like weak ankles, so I need a stability shoe. So the structure was great for me, but it's almost like wearing a horse hoof. I like that it's super stiff. I don't know if anyone else would want that. Also pause, but overall, love the Nike structure. I'll probably wear it again in the near future. I just don't have a pair currently because I've been wearing some other shoes. Second shoe, the Hoka Arahi. The Hoka Arahi, another stability shoe, obviously. In college, I would wear this with the structure. And it coupled really nicely with it. I like wearing Hoka shoes because they're just freaking comfortable, man. I, I don't know what else to say. I like this more than the Clifton, personally, probably because it's more of a stability shoe. Super strong, pillowy, good flexibility to it. Cons? this shoe falls apart pretty quickly right here on the inside this area gets kind of like torn up comment down below if that happens to you if you wear hoka shoes i feel like hoka shoes feel the best when you first wear them but i feel like i constantly have to buy new hoka shoes because they're not as durable as i would like but i'm not trying to knock hoka i think that they have some of the best shoes out there but they they kind of go bad pretty quick but when you first wear these shoes, they feel the best. This is the Hoka Arahi. Love this shoe. Third trainer, it is the Brooks Glycerin GTS. I started wearing this shoe when I was with Brooks and I absolutely loved it when I was there. At first I was wearing the Adrenaline GTS, but then I switched over to the Glycerin GTS. It's also a stability shoe. All of my trainers I wear are stability, so that's just me currently. But yeah, the Glycerin GTS, I really like that shoe a lot. It's like wearing pillows on your feet. Low key, I stopped wearing it after I was with Brooks because I wasn't going to get it for free anymore. And it is kind of an expensive shoe at times. From a non-biased perspective, Brooks probably has some of the best trainers in the world. And the Glycerin in general, Glycerin GTS shoes are, are some of the best in the world. A lot softer than the Nike structure. It's pretty durable. You can wear it for a while. And yeah, it just feels good on your foot. I would only wear this for like easy runs and stuff like that. Maybe some long runs as well. Now we're moving on to the final training shoe that I wear. And trainers are basically for easy runs, like I said. So the final trainer that I've been wearing, this this thing is a freaking chunk. Asics Gel Kayano 30. I just started wearing this shoe and I really love it. I would not suggest wearing this shoe if you don't feel like you need a chonker. And what I mean by chonker is like this thing is it's pillowy, but it's also stiff. You know, I can't bend this that much. This shoe is a monster. Like your foot is no longer a foot when you're wearing this shoe. It's just a shoe. Your foot is a shoe. It sounds like I'm giving it a negative review, but this is a super stable shoe and I really like it. It's actually pretty expensive. You know, do your research before getting the Asics Kayano 30. It's definitely a shoe I wear for recovery days and like long, slow stuff. This is a heavy shoe, definitely the heaviest shoe I own, but it's super durable. I feel like I got this shoe about a month or two ago and it's really holding up great. It's comfortable in the heel area in the back. It's got a nice like cushiony spot. That's actually why I wanted to get it because I wanted to get something more cushiony in the back for my heel and this has really gotten the job done well for me you guys are probably surprised that i'm such a stability guy probably now that i've been doing a lot of gym work i don't need to be wearing all of these stability shoes but i have been wearing them for a while so i don't want to transition out of stability shoes just yet four different shoe brands we had nike brooks hoka and Asics. so i am not loyal to any brand okay now we're going to move on and talk about the flats that i wear which are usually for workouts so they're not a racing spike but they're not quite a trainer the flats in the running world have changed so much four or five years ago there weren't super shoes so you'd wear something a lot lighter i used to wear something called the nike streaks and the nike streak lts i would never wear them anymore because super shoes just run the show but the first shoe that i wear for like a track workout or like a tempo run or something like that the nike streak flies it's sort of like a super shoe light it's not as much going on as a super shoe i don't think it has the carbon plate but it's comfortable the thing with the streak fly though is that it falls apart super quickly. But I had a cool white pair. I had I've had two different pairs of it. And you know, if I got another pair for free, I'd wear it, but I probably wouldn't buy it. The only flat for training that I would actually want to wear is this shoe right here. This is the next percent two, the Nike next percent two. I have been wearing this shoe for pretty much all of my tempo runs, all of my track workouts that don't need spikes for the last year, and it is 
phenomenal. I don't have a pair of the Alpha Flies. I've never tried Alpha Flies. Um, if anyone wants to send me a pair of Alpha Flies, I'm not going to complain. I don't know if the Alpha Flies are better, but this shoe works for me. You know, in general, Super Shoes have just changed the game so much. These shoes just have so much cushion, so much support. I used to think that I didn't like this shoe for like 200s and 400s, and I usually do switch into spikes for that type of stuff, but I feel like this is great for 5k pace and up for distance. I would still race a 5k in spikes if i was on the track but if i was on the roads obviously you're gonna wear this shoe this is a great racing road shoe pretty cool color i've got here as well the nike vaporfly next percent two i think is the official name i used to wear the brooks hyperion elite two when i was with brooks i liked that shoe a lot it's not as good as this shoe right here but it's probably more supportive i have to be careful when i wear the nike next percent two because there's not any support and like your ankle can twist really easily when you're wearing these i think it's good for strengthening your ankles when you're wearing it but like I definitely feel sore in my Achilles and calves for like a day or two after I do a hard session in these shoes. These are the main flats I'm wearing right now. So let's move on to the spikes. I'm actually gonna try to find these spikes. All right, I found them in my closet. It's safe to say that this is a revolutionary shoe, a revolutionary spike by Nike. Yep, you know we're talking about it. The Nike Dragonfly, phenomenal shoe. It kind of took the world by storm a couple years ago. So we were all wearing Dragonflies when we were with Brooks. Brooks allowed us to wear these shoes. We just had to scribble out the Nike for it. It's public information. Brooks made an announcement saying that we were gonna wear competitor spikes because this spike was so OP at the time before every other shoe company had created their super shoe. Nike created this first, the Dragonfly, and it basically it has a carbon plate inside of it. So there's like more support, more bounce off. It's pretty much made almost every single world record fall in track. Now this shoe is just another spike. I think Brooks and all the other shoe companies have caught up with Nike. I really like this shoe. I think it's a safer shoe than the shoe I'm going to show you guys last, but the Dragonfly, it's it's really good. It's, it's just, you have to be wearing a carbon plated spike if you want to keep up with the best. So yes, I, I wear this shoe for all my hard track sessions and sometimes I race in it. it just depends on what I'm feeling, but I'm not against other companies for their spikes. I think that the other spikes of other companies are just as good at this time, but this is what works for me. And I, you know, don't fix it if it ain't broke. So Nike Dragonfly, obviously super OP shoe and kind of revolutionary in the spike progression. Right now I'm in the mood for this other shoe more. Our final shoe, you guys saw me wear this for the time trial I did the other day. This is the Nike Victory right here. And look at this shoe. This shoe is also revolutionary. Look at that freaking just chonk right there. Pop of the center. Entry. These are actually really cool ones because they're like the Elliot Kipchoge edition. Look, it says, no human is limited. Uh, obviously, he didn't actually write that. And then on the inside, it says like 1252. I guess that was his time he ran in 2003. In this exact shoe in 2003, Elliot Kipchoge ran 1253. I like this shoe a lot right now. Super powerful. And yeah, like I said, it's got a carbon plate in here. It's got some good padding right here. The negative of this shoe though is that I find like after I race in it a few times, this part starts to kind of rip up. I feel like the Dragonfly is more durable than the Victory, but I feel like the Victory when it's new is better than the Dragonfly. That's just my personal take. If I was doing a 5K, I would definitely wear the Dragonfly over the Victory, but in 800 and 1500 stuff, this is more for that event. I wouldn't wear this past a 15. I yeah, I would probably wear in a 3K, the Dragonfly. But yes, this is the Victory. Super cool color wave right now. One final shoe that is better than every shoe that I've ever worn in my life. Not a lot of people know about this one. The famous croc the op shoe still waiting for my croc contract uh i dm'd them they never responded they're, they're probably still coming up with a contract for me so i'm gonna manifest that into happening folks